Hi, everybody. I'm Charles Mead. I'm the Director of Marketing and Public Relations for the Capital Area Council of the Boy Scouts. And uh, I'm joined today by Randall Goldsman, uh, one of our top volunteers. And he's and I are going to talk about a training course coming up in November uh, called IOLS. And that sounds intimidating, Randall, but it's not. So what is this course? This course is really just to get new ASMs uh, trained. They do online training for three hours, which used to be in person. Now they come in for 24 hours at Lost Pines and they come in in camp. They uh, check in at six o'clock that Friday, November 17th. And we start class sessions right at seven o'clock and we go until about 1030 and we get up early Saturday morning and we're done by about four o'clock on Saturday. So it's uh, volunteers from all over the council that come. And it's almost like a mini round table where you get to share the best practices from your units as a new leader as well. And they walk away with a lot of knowledge after 24 hours. So the acronym IOLS, Introduction to Outdoor Leader Skills. And for the Scouts BSA program, it is largely administered outdoors. So it's very important for adult leaders to feel comfortable, don't have to be an expert, but comfortable with being outdoors and kind of how a troop sets up a campsite, how you would run a weekend camp out. And this course is great because it gives you that introduction and the chance to really practice and learn some of these skills before you go back to your troop and you're actually out there doing the program. Yeah, we teach such skills as lashings, uh, the blood circle, uh, the right proper skits to have at a campfire that you kind of run it by the uh, scoutmaster and make sure it's uh, clean and scout appropriate. And we break them into patrols, so they do the patrol method for 24 hours. And we kind of do it like NYLT, where we give them different colors of patrols for the 24 hours. And they walk away with great nuggets of information, much more comfortable of being an ASM or Scoutmaster in their unit. So there is, uh, just, just to be very clear, so when folks get there on Friday, they check in and then uh, they get put into a patrol, just the same, you're, you're, you're modeling what would happen if you were an adult leader with a troop going on a weekend camp out. So uh, if you want it, it's a great idea to bring other adults, have them sign up as well with you to come take this course. You've got some friendly faces, but also you get practice in working with those other adults who are going to be with you and you with them when you're out there with your troop actually doing camping. Yeah, they get to synergize together. It's typically like four or five months of prepping for the course. And as we get closer, we automatically break them into patrols and send that email out so they know and that we get the food for them, but they have to actually cook it just like patrols would uh, at a camp out. And I think what's really important and, and very helpful uh, about this course, A, it is if you want to become a fully trained leader, which we encourage all of our leaders to do, uh, and you're in the Scouts BSA program, this is a required course along with the leader-specific training and youth protection. But beyond the required versus not, this is really a chance where you can practice and get to know these things to where you're comfortable enough in the outdoors. Again, not an expert, but comfortable enough to where you can then do your adult leader job, which is making sure that you're, or you're supervising and you're making sure the kids are having fun doing the program and, uh, and, and, and having enough freedom to learn and work with one another uh, without there being any safety concerns. Yeah, it's a lot of fun where everyone's working together, knowing what YPT is and the buddy system and all those great tools that we teach them. And I even tell them like, if you're not gonna talk and answer, I'm gonna call you out during the course because everybody's gonna be interactive and I can see who's gonna hide out in the back row in their camping chairs and some people like can we please be inside i'm like this is like outdoor leadership training not indoor and like so we don't get air conditioning i'm like no you get your tents and if you need help setting up a tent there's other adults that can help you when you're setting up your tent then 
the, the, the word outdoor key in the name, but also introduction. So again, if you're if you haven't really done a lot of camping, but you want to help your troop, uh, this is really a very low pressure, um, terrific introductory opportunity where you will have to be outdoors and camp overnight. But that's sort of the whole point. And, you know, you I think you would rather have it where this in this kind of an atmosphere where there's gonna the staff that's gonna be there, your staff is focused on making sure that folks they learn, but they also get to a certain comfort level to where then when they return to their troop, they feel like they are that much more a part of making sure their program is successful. Correct. And we even go into depths of what a troop meeting looks like, uh, what PLC meetings look like, and really give them a examples and nuggets that they can walk away with and understand what that is and signing off on advancement and different things of what ASMs are supposed to do during a troop meeting instead of just kind of sitting around in the background. So truly, uh, this is a course that if you are a leader uh, or even if you're not currently a scoutmaster or assistant scoutmaster, maybe you're a member of the troop committee or your, uh, your, your son or daughter just recently crossed over from, uh, from Cub Scouting and you want to know more about how the program works and how you can be a part of things, uh, this is a great opportunity to begin to learn these skills, make yourself more a part of the program. It's happening the weekend of November 17th, 18th uh, at Lost Pines Scout Reservation there in Bastrop. If you go to our website, bsacac.org, and you have a couple of ways of finding this information in the link to register. Either go under our training tab and there's an adult optional section that will have a listing for a program called Mega Training. That's what this course is a part of. Or you can just go up to the search bar and type in Mega and you'll find the link there. Sign up and you'll have a great time. Randall, I guess is a last thought. Um, this truly, I, I want to emphasize the the not so much the outdoor skills part, but it's the getting to know other people and working with other people, making perhaps a new friend in scouting. This is this is really a great opportunity for that because you're going to be out there, you're going to be working together, and uh, you know at the end of the day, you're going to come back after that overnight uh, feeling more confident in your you know your skills and your knowledge, but also uh, you'll have probably made some new friends too. Exactly, and this course used to be uh, just twenty four participants. We've expanded it this fall to 50. So bring your friends, like Charles said, from your unit. And if we get to 50, we can even expand it a little past that. Fantastic. So November 17th, 18th at Lost Pines, visit our site at bsacac.org and look for mega training and sign up.